Oh, can you smell that? Disgusting! I'm on the street of the Tanners here in 1867 Luxembourg, and I'm in the low spec version at the moment. That street stinks because of the urine used to treat the leather, but it stinks all over the place. Oh, here I can smell excrement floating in the river, and on the streets there would be horse poo, dog poo, dead dogs, dead bodies of all sorts, and worse that I dare not mention. So, if you are squeamish, please turn off. This is going to be one horrible video. In 1867 Luxembourg, the stritty city stunk. There was poo, dead bodies, urine, and all sorts of disgusting things around the city. In fact, in London, in 1894, the Times newspaper reported the Great Horse Manure Crisis, in which it said, in 50 years time, London will be underneath nine feet of horse manure. Nine feet, can you believe that? No way. I can't believe that. That's what he said. But there again, there were 50,000 horses in London. And that's not all. In other cities, there were even more. New York had 100,000 plus horses. More than 100,000 horses every day. Just think of all that mess. 35 pounds of horse manure for every horse. Two pints of urine for every horse every day. Now remember, a horse has got a working life of three years, and after three years, many would just pass out due to sheer exhaustion. Oh, isn't that sad? There's a dead horse here. But horses are big things. You can't just pick them up and carry them off. You'd have to leave them there for several weeks. You'd leave the corpse in Victorian times on the street for several weeks, so that the corpse would fester, and after a few weeks, the meat would become soft and easy to cut up. Thunderstorm. Hey, that's better. So you'd often find a dead corpse of a horse on the streets, just waiting for a few months until it festered and rotted away so it's easy to cut up and then it used the hooves for glue, the mane for brushes, the meat and bones for fertilizer or boiled up and used as glue. But just imagine in those few weeks there'd be rats all over the place. That would explain why there's cats here. Because householders would keep cats to keep the rats away. Ah, isn't it sweet? If you want to, you can coax the cats. Look how my cursor changes into a hand cursor. Eh, kitty, kitty, kitty. For oh, you sweet thing. And if you click on the cat... I'm going to click. Oh, look at that. I've got the cat coaxing badge. Woohoo! So, when you see a cat on the street, just stop and give it a coax. But I've got work to do. I can't spend all day coaxing cats. So, goodbye, YouTube. Just be thankful that you can't smell the city as well as see it. Otherwise, I don't think you'd be here for long. Pooh, can you smell that?